Let them know where you from. Where you coming rapping out of, man? Yeah, I'm coming straight from the streets of Oakland, man. You yes, know, sir. Uh, born, like, born and raised. You feel me? Really what it was. You know what I'm saying? Stopping grounds, folk time. But, uh, originated from folk time. But I've been running through now on the show, through these 90s and shit. Yes, sir. We all in here. Y'all know where we are. Let me know a little bit of your backstory. Like, the environment. Life. Life. Nah, straight from the game. Not to cut you off, but shit. It is what it is. Life is, uh... The, 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 the growing up in the 80s. Yes, sir. 80s was different, nigga. 80s through the 90s, way different. Yeah, give me a little bit of an example, because I am from the 90s and you from the 80s. So give me an example. What's the difference, man? Culture. Way motherfuckers live, way motherfuckers dress, way motherfuckers talk, way motherfuckers interacted with you. You know what I'm saying? On a daily, way motherfuckers uh, 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 wasn't clout chasing and wasn't about none of that. It was, it was you presenting what you was doing organically. You know what I'm saying? Different styles. Number of flavors dri dripping from this motherfucker. You know, highly influential. Yes, sir. Rapper, like, what was the reason that made you think? I'm gonna love that shit. Like, I was just, just dope doing it as a kid. Yes, sir. It just kept on, just put on the gas with the shit, never stopped. It just kept on getting, you know, kept on getting greater and shit as a nigga. Kept making moves and just learning and being outside and growing up as a man and this shit, you know. You said that your love of the music made you start rapping. Age did you start rapping? Say about like eight, nine. I used to make the little tapes and shit. First, the high speed dubbing. Mm -hmm. Old school. We used to have to put the uh, tissue inside the tapes and shit. Put it in there. Get the uh, board and play to put the beat on the beat. Put the beat next to the uh, 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 the boom box and shit. With the other little boom box and shit, record it like that to take it over to your doubles and shit. Oh man, look, I come from that era, nigga. So I was doing shit like that. Over instrumentals, and I would turn down the motherfucking treble and turn the bass all the way up, so I'd be rapping over the other nigga shit, like you know, so it sound hella muffled and shit. You know what I mean? Sir, so uh, I started shit like karaoke machines and shit. Did you have like a huge influence, like one of your family members, or maybe just a rapper that nobody knows is a part of your family? Bad influence, show, of course. Uh, Richie Rich, Father Dom. Yes, sir. Uh, no, let's go on and on three times. Let's say top three. Right now and, and past, 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 present, and future. Yeah, give us the past, present, and future. Top three. Dead or alive. Shit. For sure, Pac. Yes, sir. Number one. Pac and Big. Both the niggas are dope as fuck. Put them on the tape together. I got to put them on something together. Yes, sir. I can't even take away from them. You feel me? And, um, shit. <laughs> Damn, that's a, that's a, it's a toss up between Nas and Jada. It's a toss up between Nas and Jada. Okay, okay. I've been on them. Nas, Jada, and Fab. Ooh. Nas, Jada, and Fab. You say you can't forget the Oakland legend. It's a toss up between them niggas right there.